Hey guys, welcome back to Matt with the Morleys. You join us once again at the Caravan, Camping and Motorhome Show 2019 on our search for a new caravan. Last week we looked at the Luna Quasar 696 and the Adria Adora Sava. This time we look at a couple of Swift models, specifically the Sprite Super Quattro DB and the Swift Challenger 590. So we're now in the Sprite Super Quattro DB. This is a twin axle, eight foot wide caravan. It's a shade over 22,000 pounds here at the NEC. What do we think? Yeah, it's nice. I quite like the dark interior, <laughs> just because of the three kids. You kind of feel like it wouldn't look so grubby so quickly. Um, yeah, the that's the first thing that strikes you when you come yeah. in, isn't it? It's the upholstery color, which is, is an obvious thing to say, really. But yeah. in comparison to pretty much everything else on the market, it's yes. much darker, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice caravan to look at. What do you think to the cupboard space, Kate? Uh, there's lots of cupboards, to be fair. There's three on either side, but and they're fairly narrow, though, so you, it depends what you want to put in them. You wouldn't fit a lot. You could pile a lot of stuff up, but there's no shelves there's no in, them shelving in them No, so it means things are dropping out and left. Yeah. Uh, just checking there's no shelves on this side. <laughs> lie to you all no there are no shelves at all so there's the three windows at the front behind you isn't there there's yeah. a skylight and then there's also this roof light too the speakers are built in there so i'm assuming there is some sort of radio yeah. now the front what what do we think here? we don't like this is the one thing that we don't like for us yeah, i mean it's it's useful it, there is there's usb outlet points there yeah, which you is could useful. have them tucked away somewhere like other caravans do yeah. couldn't you for us that's just not an attractive thing and that's you know that's our, that's our, our personal preference. yeah we don't preference. like that uh, these are obviously that's a nice oh it's got a secret drawer i like that so the drawers drawer with a, a little drawer inside it yeah pull out table yeah drop down cupboards here and either side which is quite handy to be able to get without having to lift up all your cushions you can get into these so that you can uh get out of all your stuff that's underneath that's good moving on into the middle of the van so this is obviously a side dinette layout yeah which we said if we were having this layout because of obviously with five of us it means that we're going to have a child sleeping right next to us i would want it to be at least usable when yeah. like to feel that it was a usable dining area. this would be it's actually u-shape as well so you can sit we'd sit all five of us around this it's only been set up for two but you could get you could get four, but we could squeeze it. this big little plate. I mean, they're big plates, aren't they? Yeah. And obviously, with with our setup and with our kids and the inter I guess the intended, uh, the intended users of the van, the the seat that you see there, obviously that backrest, there's not that much space. But for a, you know, for a young child, yeah, even I even could, our girls I, would comfortably. I could sit there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the table moves a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's not fixed. So I can move it out. Yeah, Turn but you would round. struggle to get five adults around that table. Yeah. It wouldn't work, would it? No. So, but anyway, so the table is of a good size. It is movable. Um, but very sturdy. But very sturdy. She says as it wobbles. <laughs> <laughs> that obviously, that obviously uh, in evening configuration will be your uh, second double bed. So you've got a double at the front, a double in the middle. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, uh, cupboard space oh, above. Double, uh, double bed with double bed which extends out yeah now, as we saw as we sort of spoke with the hollingberries when we did the review of the palermo um they said their buccaneer has that feature yeah. and when it is made into a double it does make it quite difficult to actually get, get down the side but yeah. yeah that's just one of those things um cupboard space above the is side the dinette yeah same same is the same width as the oh shelf in that one though uh yeah i shelf think there's a shelf one. in all of them to be honest yeah. yeah so some shelves so there's plenty of shelving there which is it's is really useful because yeah. obviously at the back where the bunks are which we'll come to in the middle there is going to be limited amount of space just because of the layout uh okay so moving on into the kitchen um this <coughs> this has got a three burner gas hob yeah separate oven and grill yeah cupboard space at the bottom pots and pans pots and pan space big cupboard here with your drawer for your cutlery yeah. and a little rack for tins and things actually that isn't that usable though it's got your wheel arch in it and all your hoses for sink sink Waste. yeah so that kind of takes up a bit of room in it 
that's your only bottom cupboard. As far as worktop space goes, there's no pull-up flap, is there? No. Which would uh, which would only have to be in the doorway. Um, yeah, so that obviously you've got a glass lid to go down on there, and then that's your space, isn't it? Yeah. Fridge. Fridge Dramatic is just style. yeah, same as what we've got in our caravan, which we work with fine. We go on long holidays away and manage with that fridge. So yeah, so it shouldn't put anybody off. Really, you can, it's big enough to be able to get enough food in there for you know a good amount of time. Plates and another. They're, they're deeper cupboard. than the other side, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, moving on back. Then you've got two tall cupboards here. Two wardrobes. Which is, yeah, two wardrobes, which is handy. So this one is has got your table in it. So you pull out table and obviously a shelf, hanging rail, aerial, TV aerial. Sorry, you're still in there. Sorry. Other side. Other side, I think this was shelves. I'm not remember. I know. Another yeah. hanging rail, shelf. So you've got two big wardrobes. So there's plenty of wardrobe space. Yeah. Into the bathroom. So the bathroom is a separate toilet shower, which is really nice to see. That's one of the things that we featured, if you like, or one of the, the things on our caravan that we kind of feel makes it a bit. Uh, it's, it's less user friendly having a wet room, in, but that's our preference. A Sink. One cupboard. one cupboard, which, to be quite honest with you, I don't think you need much more than that in a in a caravan. You're only going away, you know. You don't need bloody soap in there. Uh, shower is, um, yeah, shower is very white, but a decent sized shower with a light in, there's no, uh, there's no roof light above it, but there is one obviously here and a couple of hanging places, toilet is your usual, Thetford. Okay, onto the back then and the kids Hi, bunk kid, area. Yeah, I like this actually, the bed, so good sort of similar to what you get in an Android they're wide the width yeah the width the width is really good so really you could get a teenager quite happily in these so yeah. older kids whereas a lot of bunks are made for smaller kids really yeah so I think they're good you've got this drop down oh. story which again it's always great to be able to get under without having to lift everything up yeah I think yeah so that's good also there's individual uh, curtains which I'm sure our girls would love having an individual curtain that's it blinds are just the normal Bang. yeah so problem obviously with these is you get the light underneath it's not a deal breaker is it but no. we, okay. we quite liked the darkness so what do we think of this one um i quite like it yeah i like it it looks so. nice when you walk in yeah it's nice it's functional um as I say, the, the upholstery is a little darker than you see on most of the caravans, but certainly one to consider, isn't it? Yeah, no no extras though, is there like the barbecue? No, there's no, no external gas point, there's no solar panel. There is obviously a mover available uh, as part Actually. of a show offer, but there's no other, ex there's no 20, 230 volt outlet in the awning. Um, yeah, so. Okay. It, it is, it does have the Truma blown air seat. It does have the Truma blue air. <laughs> Oh, it, it does have the, the true map blown air heating system, so that's really useful, and the swift command center as well. So, on to the next one. So, we're at the front of the caravan in the lounge. What do you think of the upholstery on this? It's much lighter, isn't it? Yeah, it's lighter. I'm guessing it's probably a stain resistant kind of one as well. This is a more expensive caravan, it's the Challenger range, yeah. so it, generally things are. A little bit more upspec. It has a solar panel and yeah. stuff like that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah so lighter upholstery. You got dark wood uh, cupboards, haven't we? Yeah, gloss as well. They're like gloss. Yeah, lots of latch handles. That. So there are. Uh, you've got some shelving in the front here as well. So three cupboards again in the front. Some Width shelving. Wise, either one. They're still depth, narrow. They're, yeah, they're, they're a bit narrow. But I yeah. don't know whether they're. Um, these look long to me. The this front sofas do look longer than in other caravans we've been in. I don't know whether that's yeah. the I case. Mean, we'll obviously put the exact dimensions in the description, yeah. so if you're interested, you can check those out there. Uh, also at the front, we've got the Covered. wardrobe. Yeah, with the table in it. Table, the aerial point. Uh, there is a shelf as well, but hanging around in there. Yeah. So 
Moving on further back into the kitchen. So you've got a microwave in the kitchen. Microwave is standard, that's really nice. helpful, isn't it? Yeah, deep cupboards, two deep cupboards, one with plate rack and cup holder yeah. in. Um, a nice splashback. I quite like the splashbacks in Swift, they have splashbacks, don't they? Yeah. And blinds. Oh, what? Sorry, can I go back to the front and look yeah. at the blinds? So the blinds here are obviously the blinds where you don't get the light underneath, which is good. So we you, like those blinds, you can don't have, we? we do, yeah, you can have complete darkness. Complete blackout. Yeah, so that's the blinds on there. Uh, fridge, again, standard fridge, but always works for us. We're quite happy with that. Yeah. Worktop space, can you extend it? You can, yeah. Nifty, I like that. Like that little so design feature. You've got a bit of an extension there. This could, that looks tiny, you wouldn't even think it'd fit a couple of tray in there, but you can. I like that, that's quite good and just makes the most of that tiny bit of space above the fridge. Yeah. Then you've got a cupboard there, which has another cutlery tray just in case you want to. In case you need two <laughs> sets with you. A second one. <laughs> I suppose, to be fair, you could put all your big yeah, utensils, utensils in there and knives and things like that. Yeah. Uh, a nice right. pull out tin rack. Tin rack? Yeah, I know what you mean. So yeah, so that's good. But then again, you, you have really got well. yeah, and a lot of pipes, so you wouldn't fit massive in there. Okay, onto the cooker. Dual fuel hob. Dual fuel four. Which we well, like. Three burner. Four. One one electric, yeah. which we like. Yeah. Um, separate oven and grill. Yeah. Just a standard feature. Below that, obviously, so, there is a pot, pots and pans. Pots and pans cupboard. So actually, whilst we're just over here, we've got so this caravan comes with the. Uh, Swift Smart Construction, the Swift Command Center. It's got a tracker, um, 10 year body in shell, sort of body shell integrity warranty, grade 3 heating, uh, a VIN chip as well, useful to have. And there are some optional extras, optional extras, so a barbecue point, external mains point. Uh, so they're not, they're not standard fit. Cool. Okay, moving on to the bathroom. So the bathroom actually does feel very nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I like the bathroom. It's really nice. You've got a step up. It's a fully lined shower, which we like having that. What about the rest of the bathroom? Yeah, so you've got two cupboards. They are narrow cupboards, but that's enough for toiletries. As in not very stuff. deep. Yeah, not very deep. So that's that, that I do for all your toiletries and stuff where you get in there. Then you've got a little cupboard under here, which would be for my hair dryer. And my strainers. Yeah, and your strainers. Uh, the toilet, oh, a little heater. Yeah. There you go. So heating system on this is the Alder wet style. And then here's the Swift command center as well. So moving on to the back. Kids area, yeah, very very similar to our caravan, isn't it? With the addition of the bunk over the over the side dinette, yeah, so it's only a twin bunk, bunks. whereas we obviously have tri bunks or triple bunks. Small table at the side there, which has it got a TV point? No. What's that? Uh, it looks as though you can fit wires down it, but I wonder whether it got an aerial point or anything like that, no. Yeah, not that so there's a little either. table, there's obviously lights by the LED lights in the kids' beds, but they're quite nice, aren't they? Oh, those they're flat feet. Actually, yeah, they're really nice, I like those. Uh, narrow beds, those. I don't think there's much in it, to be fair. There's like about an inch or something, but it does look different. They're like for little kids, Why has it gone really? so dark all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't know, why has it? Turn the light off. There you go. That's fine. Uh, yeah, the beds are so bed width is narrower than some. They seem narrower than yeah. the Super Quattro, don't they? And they look shorter. And they look actually. a bit shorter. So it kind of depends. You know, these what what works for you will be how big your kids are, I suppose. So good access to under the under the seat with these drop down cupboards. We like that. That's a good feature, isn't it? Yeah. So there we go. Good, good size table yeah. that yeah. the kids could be drawing at and playing at. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, say that again. And a screen to shut them in. Right, Ryan. The only thing we find about this having a dog, the dog likes to go under it and then it all comes unclipped at the top, which isn't that much of an issue. You can clip it back on, but it drove us mad. Whereas it just some, makes a big noise, it makes a loud noise. Yeah, whereas well. some caravans have a curtain, which is better actually because the dog can move freely underneath it without ripping it, it all off. Yeah. 
So, yeah. Cool. So that's that's just done here in the Swift Challenger. In the Challenger 590. It's a bit of a difference. It, this is more akin to our caravan, isn't it? So it's exactly the same, really. It's just modernised version yeah, of ours. With the Alder wet central heating system with a solar panel on. Same sort of storage space. Same, yeah, same storage space with an upgraded hub with it being dual fuel. And it's got a microwave. Which a microwave. It still has the Swift feature point at the front. Um, which we love. Which isn't to our taste, but never mind. Um, yeah, so this is not, you know, this is 22 grand, isn't it? There is an yeah. option to upgrade the, to have an external gas point and also to have a 230 volt outlet in the awning or on the side of the van as well, which yeah. is probably something we'd be interested in um, if we were to buy, this, we were to buy yeah. this caravan. So I don't think we can make that decision yet. Um, let's go and have a look at another one. Yeah.